Hello Lava friends, this week we have an addition to last week's without header method, better test assertions and I'll help you to decide if you like to destroy or force destroy your models. Let's go! Last release I showed you the new without header method and now we also got the new without headers one so you can pass multiple ones if you like. Thank you, Milvat. Next, expecting a choice in your test has become way more straightforward. I do have here this artisan feedback command and if we give this a try, php artisan feedback, here you get asked about which is your favorite football club, which is soccer by the way. And of course you would pick Liverpool here and you just see that you went for Liverpool. So pretty simple here, we are doing this by using the select prompt, which is included in Lava prompt. We have here our question and then the second argument we provide the options with a key and the value. So that's it. Inside our test now, we want to make sure that we test this. So we're calling this feedback command here and then we expect a choice. And here we have the question, we have the answer, which we could need for this test, but in this case we don't need it. And then we have the options here, which we haven't provided here. So let's run this and you can see this is failing now because we have different options because we haven't provided them. So in real we do get options but here in this test we haven't added them. Alright so let's go back to our test here so let's copy this array here. Here we go. And before the current version here, before this new update was added, this was not working like this. So what we had to do here is we had to get rid of the array in we had to provide one array with key value after each and you can still see this is still passing because in the back this is how this choice prompt works but of course this is a little bit yeah not so straightforward to see that this is the same as what we have provided before so with this update here what we can do is we can also provide this array and you can see this is now also passing here by providing the same array which we have inside our command here, which is a little bit easier than it was before. Thank you, Chess. Then we have a nice improvement when asserting against the database. We do have this test here where I'm creating a new podcast with a specific title and then I'll just make sure that we see this in the database with the assert database has method. We are checking that this is in the podcast table and entry with the ID one and the title is level podcast. And if you run this, this will pass like you would expect. But there are two things that are different here. But um, let's first, let's take a look at what we already could do. So instead of the string here, we could also provide here the podcast class, which I really like because this is way cleaner here. This will also work. But what you also could already do here is if we say this is our podcast, we could also provide here the model itself. So this means Laval then checks, okay, this is a model, it checks which table and this way we can also provide the model as the first argument to define this is the table. But the one thing that is new here is that if you provide a model here as the first argument, which is normally just for the table, then it will also set a constraint for the key. So this means this is the podcast and the first one with the ID one, so this means this is already automatically being set. So this means if we get rid of this, this will also work. But what this also means here is if we get rid of the data here at all, let's try this and run this, this will now also pass. Because what happens here is the second argument is now um, not required anymore if you use the model as a first argument, because this will already set the constraint that we're looking for a podcast in the podcast table with the ID of this podcast here. So I really like that we can now just provide here the podcast to make sure that this specific model is inside this podcast. But something else has changed now because of this. So let's create a second podcast here. And let's call this, this is a CSS podcast. All right, so now we're providing as the first argument the first podcast, like before. And now we're looking for the title, CSS podcast. So this is of our second podcast. So let's think about what do you think will now happen if I run this test? Yes, this will fail now because now we're looking for a podcast with the title that we've provided, 
but also with an ID, which we don't have provided here in this array, but we have provided it by providing the podcast model, which has an ID of one. But we only found a podcast with the ID one with a different title. So this means what we still can do is we can still overwrite this here. So let's say the ID should be two. Now this will be overriding what was set by providing this model. So this works, but of course, even better would be now to provide here the other podcast, the CSS podcast. So this will work, but then of course you can also get rid again of this if you would like, and this will also pass because now we're looking for a podcast with the ID two which is this one, and this is inside this database. So I really like this new additions here, so please make sure if you're providing here a model here, that this is also the model of the item that you are looking for. Thank you, Patrick. And last, let me tell you about force destroy on soft deletes. In this application, podcasts are soft deletable. So this means if we create one, we make sure this is in the database with an assertion, then we delete it, and then we make sure it is soft deleted. So this means it's still in the database, the entry, but it's just marked as deleted with a specific column. Let's run this test and you can see this is working. Great. What we also can do here is we can force delete a model. So this means this is not in the database anymore and this is now why this is failing. And here we would need a new assertion called assert database missing. Now we're making sure this is not in the database at all, which is great. But this only worked on a specific model. If I just use the base podcast class, what we did has was a destroy method. So let's destroy the first one, but this now does not work anymore because this just soft deletes our podcast. So now we have a force destroy which is here, which we can use now. And you can see now this test is also passing because we are really deleting, destroying this podcast with the ID one from our database. Thank you, Jason. That's it for this week 11.21 release. Let me know what of the features you like the most in the comments and see you the next time. Bye.